Hello and uh, welcome to a special edition of Asterisk Live. I'm here uh, live at the uh, Asterisk World Show here in Miami, Florida with Tony Lewis from Schmoozcom. How's it going, Billy? So, <laughs> welcome, uh, welcome to Asterisk Live, Tony. We normally do this kind of thing maybe uh, remotely, but I thought, hey, while we're at the show, we can shoot a little uh, video and have some conversation. And uh, you can probably hear the buzz around the show. It's been uh, pretty fun so far and nice weather. What do you think you like so much about the show? Uh, the weather, uh, 75 degree weather. When we left on Tuesday, we got negative 40 of windshields back home, so we're happy to come to 75 degree weather. <laughs> so it is definitely nice in Miami. Uh, a lot of folks have uh, escaped the icy cold to come and uh, learn about Asterisk and talk about Asterisk. And uh, I'm excited to be talking with uh, Tony from Schmoozcom because they are the sponsors of the Free PBX project. And so uh, Free PBX is very popular within the Asterisk community. But for those who aren't familiar, can you just uh, tell us what what is Free PBX? Uh, Free PBX, as we call it, is the world's most popular web GUI for Asterisk. Uh, it's been around, I believe, eight years now, going on eight years. Uh, a few million active installs out there that, that are active on a day-to-day -day basis, and you know, we average 35 to 40,000 new installs a month of Free PBX. Uh, Free PBX is designed to basically exclusively control Asterisk. Excellent. And there are several different Asterisk distributions that actually take advantage of that free PBX GUI framework, right? Correct. Right. Uh, there's Asterisk Now put out by Digium. There is PBX in a Flash that uses it. Uh, Elastics uses free PBX. Years ago, the old Green Machine Tricks box was all based on free PBX. And then, of course, free PBX has their own ISO distribution put out yeah. called free PBX Distro. Oh, excuse us. Oh, sorry. That's Lots of it, folks here at the I show. I was going and, uh, this way. So it's, it's, it's good to see folks. Yes! Maybe we might even have some participants come in who are uh, hanging out in the booths here, uh, which is cool. We can invite them into the video too. And uh, In any case, Free PBX is used on many different distributions, and Schmoozcom does also have their own Free PBX distro. Correct. The official Free PBX distro. Can you tell us what makes the Free PBX distro different than some of those other Azure Space distributions? Oh, it's put up by us, so it's the best, of course. Like, in reality, uh, we feel what makes it different really is the things that we can do at the distro level, since we know Free PBX inside and out, and we know the little oddities and nuances or little features that we add that require something else to be in place that somebody may not do, it allows us to do to make sure the best experience is given to the user. For example, you know, we'll take Astrid and compile it with Span DSP for faxing, or compile it with Flight so you have a basic text to speech on Jet. Even though Flight may not sound the best, at least you have something that's GPL compliant. So we do a lot of things with Asterisk to add other components that Asterisk can compile against. We also maintain a few patches in Asterisk that have been given back upstream for just some feature enhancements that our users have asked for that were easier to modify Asterisk than to jump through hoops and do it inside of Dial Plan or AGIs or macros or something. So that's, that's something that's really nice that uh, those folks are using the free PBX distro and those users have reported some functionality enhancements and your engineers have been able to make that in Asterisk and contribute that upstream for the entire community. Correct. Yeah, that's excellent. Yes, in Asterisk 12 we've done a lot of that in. Uh, I believe in the last month on Asterisk 12, over, I believe over, last I looked, over 70% of the bugs we ported were done by us, and a lot of them were fixed by us, so you know, we put a serious commitment into getting Asterisk 12 out. And Asterisk 12, which is the current uh, the current release of Asterisk, our current standard release, Asterisk 12, and uh, FreePBX is unified uh, so much around so Asterisk 12 that you're actually calling it FreePBX 12. Correct, correct. So FreePBX 12 is in alpha right now. And the, the, the big thing of FreePBX 12 was redoing a lot of the core underlying channel driver of FreePBX so we could add support for the new PJ SIP and Asterisk 12 and take advantage of things like the new ARI and Asterisk 12. So we thought, well, FreePBX 211, are we ever going to have a 3.0? Uh, probably not, let's just call it 12 and follow the footsteps of the 
Okay, excellent. And so uh, that's in Alpha right now. It is. And there's a free Pivot ISO. Uh, it's the 6.12.65 ISO that has support for Asterisk 12 and PJ SIP and free PBX 12. Okay. Uh, free PX 12 is still a work in progress. The, we've never really done a release like this where we released an alpha and then add features as, as we, after we released the alpha. But we wanted to get as fast as we could basic PJ SIP support out so people could start testing. PJ SIP with Asterisk and start to find the bugs and get them back to Digium while we go back and write the new user control panel, which is the big new feature for FreePBX 12 will be that, that new user control panel we built. Okay. And in terms of uh, Schmooze as a company, what is, uh, what's going on with you guys? What kind of uh, products do you have on the horizon or what have you recently released? So we've got the user control panel of FreePBX that's taking a lot of time right now. and. On the commercial front, we've got our new HA solution that we've released uh, in stable finally. It's a complete high availability, automatic failover, clustering between two servers. Uh, in the event that server A has a problem, server B will take over automatically, move the floating IP with just seconds of downtime. And so that high availability solution, and that's that's available in the FreePBX software? Correct, with the FreePBX distro only. With the free PBX, so if I'm using the free PBX distro, yep. and I can have machine A and machine B, and they have high availability failover between them. Yes. That's, yep, that's it's the free PBX high availability. It's a commercial module designed for the enterprise space, but very usable in the small business space and very affordable even for the small business. And, wow. and I can run that on any hardware that I'm running Correct. free PBX. But then you also provide your own hardware. We do. We have a um, the, the most common one that we've been selling is the new SMB hardware, which is this is this is right the HA solution right here. Yes. <laughs> yep. So we basically have two systems, an A and a B all in a 2U chassis with dual redundant um, hard drives for each system, both with super micro motherboards, uh, dual gigabit NICs with IPMI for, to handle proper fencing of your high availability, uh, all in a nice little 2U form factor. Okay, and then that also integrates as well with the DGMR series for PRI fails. Correct, correct, so if you want uh, PRI or analog, uh, traditional analog or PRI cards, you can put them on your system, use the Digimar series, and we've built Heartbeat, we've used the API from the Digimar series with our Heartbeat to control which system Dottie is sending your PRI or analog cards to. Okay, so excellent, so if I need high availability for my SIP solution, uh, all of my SIP phones will fill over to the backup server within seconds, I'm still up and going, and my PRI calls as well for high availability. Correct. Yeah, that's very impressive. Cool. Well, uh, Tony, I have enjoyed talking and I always like hanging out with Tony at the shows. Um, hopefully we'll get to do some more of these chats and I uh, just wanted to do this one live off of the floor. Sounds good. Thank you, Billy. Cool. See you guys next time. See ya.